What's up guys, got another video review for you. This is the one I told you about not too long ago. This is the revisit of iGear's hench figure, also known as Braun. Um, and like I said, I was getting repro labels for him, and now we got him on. So we can take a look at what um, what the stickers added. So the first thing you might notice is the windshield. So it, it used to be black, just straight black paint, and now we've got these cool blue tinted windows all the way around in the back on the side I did cut that one when I was taking it off somehow it got cut I don't know how but what are you gonna do trying not to stress about it um, so yeah we got cool glass all the way around now uh, it does also have windshield wipers on the glass um, I'm not sure if that Autobot sticker is supposed to go there but I put it there because there was no uh, place for it in the instructions and I think it looks very good there um, we also add tail lights and a license plate. And these were really weird to put on. Hopefully they they're symmetrical. I tried hard to get them even. Well, the problem is that these aren't really symmetrical. But it does say can get it to focus. Can't see it says Braun and that is Washington, a Washington State license plate, which is really cool. Got the tail lights. Um, these are all one big piece, and you kind of just got to fold it up, and there's no panel lines to line it up with, so you just kind of have to eyeball it. Kind of a pain in the butt, but what are you going to do? On the front, we now have headlights, and this one moved. One second, guys. And it changed. Come up. Come Sorry. That's better. Um, does it add headlights and a front license plate that also says Brawl, Braun, Brawl. Um, and I'll show you some of the al the um, alternative ones. License plates you can use in a second here. So hang on one second, and we're gonna get this guy transformed into robot mode. All right, so here we have Braun. I'm sorry, Hench, back into his robot mode. And we can see some of the other details that are added. Um, robot mode is not really as drastic, it's just a lot of fine detail. First of all, there are green knee covers, because they're just pins in here, silver pins, and this kind of blends it in with the green, which is a nice little touch. On the belly, we have an Autobot logo, uh, kind of a blue and silver stripe, and a black and red stripe. This was plain black, and this was all orange, just plain, this color orange all the way around, so I just add a little bit of detail. The other things you can add, which are optional, is there was an episode of G1 where Laserbeak stuck to Brawn and, you know, spied on everybody. So they actually give you a little Laserbeak st uh, sticker, which I put on right there. And there's also a gunshot sticker. And I thought that fit Brawn pretty cool, so I just put it right there on his chest. A little bit of paper flash which I think is a nice little little detail so on him on robot mode it's not as overwhelming as it is in vehicle mode but it is a nice lot of little touches that make it really cool and then real quick when I told you I wanted to show you the extra stickers you can put on here are the license plates you got two for each for front and back one says smash and the other says beefy I can get some light. Hefty, I'm sorry. Hefty and smash. There's also um, an extra belly sticker. Um, they, and they also give you two different Autobot stickers. Cartoon accurate and toy accurate. I chose the cartoon accurate because obviously I'm making him the toy accurate, the cartoon accurate face, because I don't want him with the toy accurate face, that thing is weird. But if you were a big fan of the original toy, or if you had him as a kid, if I had Braun as a kid and he was dear to me, I would have kept him as, G as the toy accurate version, but I didn't, so I went with the cartoon version. 
But yeah, if you don't like the Braun license plate, you have Hefty or Smash you can also use. So that's a nice little touch, nice little added bonus. So yeah, uh, I really like it. I really like the nice little details it adds. I think, you know, a lot of, that's a problem with a lot of these third-party figures is that they can't, you know, they can't add the Autobot symbols and they always leave out a lot of detail. They're very usually very primary color-y in terms of uh, their color schemes. Like this was green, orange, black, and silver. It was the only colors on this guy. And now we added, you know, the Autobot symbol and these little belly colors and just, just a lot of little accent colors that really bring the toy to life. So yeah, I'd say you got, I think it's six bucks kicking around. Head on over to Repro Labels, pick, up it, pick it up. Totally worth it. So this has been Transformers Review of Repro Labels, uh, Classics Brawn.